started raining right now so unfortunately you we're going to have to bunch up and I know that we've got um, that horrible thing to our wonderful Mick Bell here and he will uh, open the show so thank you thank you thank you Sandra uh, and thanks to everybody for coming um, and before we uh, start getting into it uh, I'd just like to acknowledge that we meet on the uh, traditional lands of the Gundungra and the Darug Nations and acknowledge Elders past, present and emerging and extend that um, acknowledgement and respect to uh, any persons of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander background who are with us uh, today. Uh, having thanked Zendro for the introduction, I'd also like to uh, thank a few other people. I'd like to thank uh, mainly the committee, the, the people who collectively work on every exhibition, work on keeping this gallery going and as a uh, councillor I can only extend the thanks uh, of myself as the chair of this committee uh, and the thanks of the uh, other councillors my, and my council colleagues uh, to every member of the committee for the work that you do. It's absolutely fantastic. I'd like to also extend in a general sense a thanks to uh, all of the artists that we have through the Blue Mountains, all the creatives who, who uh, in all of the work that they do, every piece of work that they do embodies something of the mountains in them. It's the place that these people live in, it informs their work, it informs their, the way that they work, and I think uh, the work that we, we see exhibited both here at the Cultural Centre, in the private galleries, in the collections, around the mountains and elsewhere, we get a very uh, powerful and um, comprehensive look at the mountains through so many uh, different pairs of eyes. I certainly um, value that. Uh, today, we're very fortunate in that we have, uh, we have three, for the price of one, exhibitions. So we have three artists. We have uh, Samara, Stephen, and Malcolm. Malcolm, uh, Malcolm's work. Three very different artists, three very different exhibitions, but again, each with a link to the Blue Mountains. Uh, Stephen said to me uh, earlier on, you know, the view, you're wondering about views of Paris, and I said, yes, but that's through mountain eyes. <laughs> you sometimes have to stretch it a bit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it is there. Um, and before uh, asking the, uh, the artists, uh, two of the artists who are here today, to say a few words, I'd really like to repeat my thanks to you all for coming. This is the first time we've had an opening at, uh, at Braemar for a heck of a long time. Uh, and it feels at times far too long. Uh, so I really do appreciate the fact that everybody's come along. It's great to see this first um, exhibition. It was lovely last night to be uh, at the uh, at the not at the opening, at the closing of the uh, portraiture Blue Mountains portraiture exhibition, and uh, I can just get the feeling now we're off again. It's going to get we're in the harness again, and uh, that's, a, that's a really good thing. I can tell that Zandra is very excited to be looking forward to a lot more work. Yeah, and uh, I think we're all. 
we're all looking forward to it. We, we, we all, I know, but those of us who, both those who create art, but also all of us who are supporters of the arts, particularly in the mountains, are keen to see it all get back into its stride, and so are we on the council. We really value the role of the arts in the mountains. We really are committed, uh, and you'll see that over the next um, few years. We're very committed to delivering on the concept of the Blue Mountains as being a city of the arts. So you'll see that we're a city of the arts. We're almost uniquely located within the within a uh, World Heritage Area. The only other one is Banff in Canada. Uh, so there's only those two in the world that, that are totally surrounded by um, national parks and World Heritage Area. We're keen to deliver on that and the delivery, of course, is totally up to the supporters of the arts in the mountains and most particularly to those who create art in the mountains. And with that, I'll uh, just hand over to one of the people who creates art in the mountains, Samara. Uh, no, it's all right. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, I didn't see all these people. Um, okay, this is off the cuff. Um, my, this is off the cuff. My brain has, uh, um, I need a new brain, and this week has been a, a, a big week. Um, and, but first and foremost, thank you for all coming. Um, we had to muster up all these uh, good friends because you are to support us. And I thank you personally. A lot of you have come because I've been on the phone. Um, and it makes such a difference to have that support. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to say, except that I wanted to say that. Uh, but Braemar has been my other home for many years. I've been in the, the mountains for 62. And I love it. And that's why my theme is what it is. Essence of the mountains. And I've been trying to work hard at trying to express what it does mean to me. So, without uh, one thing I'd like to say, which I don't want to dampen the meeting, is that if you're wondering why we've got the sunflowers representing with the mountains, the sunflower is my favourite flower. It also is the national flower of this country. So, with that, thank you. Enjoy your day and, and the, the work because it's quite diverse. Um, I'm privileged to know the other two artists now. I didn't know them before. I certainly do now. Okay, thank you. Uh, Samara, of course, was a uh, long-term lady uh, member of the gallery as well. And, uh, thank you for that service. I'm glad to know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll hand you over now to, uh, to Stephen Travis. Thank you. And I am not and never have been a committee member. I'm one of the many artists who just appreciate the work that people do that give us opportunities. So you know, thank you for those here who are on the on the committee. Um, yeah, look, this exhibition is is been really great for me. I started doing these drawings really as just a whimsy um, after a trip, and somehow they hijacked my art practice. And drawing now is, is I haven't touched an oil paint for, for years now. And so I was in my head making that transition to this is for something fun I'm doing because it's different and I've been to Paris to this is what I do at this point. And, and so when I had the opportunity to apply and got an exhibition here, it's been wonderful to complete that process in my head that this has been part of my most unexpected art journey and it's just opened up all these incredible opportunities um, and through social media as well opportunities that people connect to all around the world that um, you know, people talk badly of social media often especially people my age but it's just done nothing but connect me with the most amazing people so you know, there is something good in there if uh, you haven't heard that from anyone but um, yeah it's been wonderful to 
put some of these toys in trains. I've got 300 of these kicking around the house in a big pile. And even now and then I rummage through it trying to find something and they scatter everywhere like autumn leaves and my wife walks past saying, you should take better care of them. You might want to do something with them one day. And uh, I guess that day's come. So it's really exciting to see them here. So thank you very much for coming and being a part of that. And I do also have some cards for sale as well. If, if a painting won't fit anywhere in your room, but you've got a spot for a card, then, uh, then have a look at those. We've moved them outside just so that it's not so congested. But thank you very much for coming. And for everyone who has made it very possible. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And uh, again, thank, thanks to you all for coming. Uh, continue to support the arts. Uh, the artists are available for to be approached if you wish to purchase any of the any of the works. The committee don't uh, don't do sales. It's part of that how we work. We uh, we are a gallery which uh, doesn't charge for pe people uh, for exhibiting, but we are a gallery that has uh, a uh, selection process and quite strict criteria for uh, um, for exhibitions to be accepted onto our calendar. So. Uh, We've got three exhibitions that obviously made it, which is great, it's fantastic. But um, as I say, your continued support is what will keep the arts strong in the mountains, and that's what we really need. So without further ado, thanks again, and I declare the exhibition open.